Hey guys, I have some pretty good news to share, but first I want to give you a quick little tour of my lab before I pack it up and move it. Hope you like it. So in a few days, I will be heading to NASA's Kennedy Space Center to work as a senior engineer at Blue Origin. But first, I just wanted to show my lab before I tear it down and move, as I haven't really done any videos in this lab since I moved about a year ago. So uh, some of you may know, but I worked at NASA for um, in 2012 and 2013 at Kennedy Space Center. So I'm pretty excited to be heading back. So the lab's a bit of a mess right now, but um, the racks in the back here are just wire racks from Amazon that I put ESD mats on. And then, you know, my oscilloscope, my vector network analyzer, my waveform generator, I got a couple, uh, you know, benchtop power supplies and just a handful of other test equipment. I have my hot air rework station, my soldering iron, my hot plate, um, my microscope back there and you know, I got my two printers. I got the Prusa and the Prusa Mini and just a lot of knickknacks just kind of hanging around. But uh, these, this is just an adjustable desk. You know, it's pretty nice. You can just go pretty low with it. And these drawers, you may recognize, but they are, they're from Radio Shack. And in 2012, um, you know, Radio Shack started like closing a bunch of stores. And then I went to uh, three different closing stores and got as many of these as I could. And a lot of them, you know, had the switches and the buttons inside of them that they gave me. So... Um, these have been amazing for me in terms of storing my electronics and um, other components. So a lot has happened in the last year for me, and that's why I haven't really posted it all. So I went from managing a manufacturing facility with less than 20 employees to being the head of the engineering department of a much larger shop with over 130 employees called Decimal Engineering. So it was really refreshing to be leading a team of eight young engineers with an eagerness to learn. So... Um, but I also, between the new job and doing more contract engineering work, I didn't really have much time to make YouTube videos. So uh, many of you already know this, but I've been doing contract engineering design work for other companies for, for many years on the side. And so I've done contract work for the U.S. Navy, Volvo, Boeing, and many other smaller companies doing electronics, mechanical assemblies, and robotics. Okay, so how did I get this awesome job at Blue Origin? Well, I wasn't really looking for another job, but a recruiter sent me information about a recruitment event that Blue Origin was hosting near me in South Florida. So I brought my resume, handed it out to many of the managers that were there, and the rest is a pretty long story. But I was thinking that, you know, after I move, I'll post a video about how I got the job at Blue Origin and how to prepare for the four hour final interview to increase your chances of getting an offer. You know, since uh, I, I kind of got into the Blue Origin culture and started meeting a lot of the people, I've met a lot of engineers and managers, and I've asked a lot of them how their interviewing experiences went, and they're all very similar to mine, aside from the department-specific technical questions. But um, I'm really excited. I will be a senior engineer helping get the new, large, reusable New Glenn rocket up and running, and I'm also really excited to work with other Blue Origin projects like the Orbital Reef Space Station, which will be the replacement to our existing space station, and lunar landers like Blue Moon. So... Um, I feel like, the, the, you know, the final interview was four hours long and it was a one hour 
presentation, followed by six 30 minute one-on-one -on -one session, sessions with like the engineers and managers. And they ask you a lot of technical questions and some of them are character-based questions, but I, uh, I really think that the reason I got multiple offers is the, the way I prepared. So I hope to make more videos in this coming year. Um, if you have any questions about what I've been working on, post a comment below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.